how to make uh, doggy tuggy toys with a handle. Um, I start off with three pieces of inexpensive um, polar fleece and cut them approximately six inches wide. As you can see, you don't have to be exact because there's a big <laughs> lump <laughs> taken out right there. Um, you're never ever going to see it when it's braided in, so don't worry about it. These pieces are about 40 inches long. Um, again, it's just a rough estimate. The stuff's just hacked off. You can see I'm not particularly careful because it's not going to stop our show. Uh, the tuggies are really forgiving that way. So there's three pieces. And then I'll go to step two. Step two is to tie a knot about uh, a third of the way, um, about a third of the way from the end of the uh, pieces of polar fleece. Um, again, the length of these is about 38 to 40 inches. Um, if you have a longer tuggy, then you'll want to adjust the knot down further so that your so that your um, tug part, not the handle part, but so the tug part is more uh, equal in length. Okay, the next step is to decide how big your handle is going to be. It's starting to make a little bit more sense now. You've got your your there's a tail over here. This is going to be your handle part. And this is going to be uh, the, the the tail as well. Now, I only have one suggestion at this point. Measure, just do a, a rough ballpark of how big this handle is. For me, I've got fairly good sized hands. This handle, let's see if I can do this. This handle is going to fit my hand without a glove pretty good. But if I put a glove on, then the handle is going to be it's going to be too small, so you have to kind of have a rough idea if you're going to use if you need a big handle or a little handle. If you've got little tiny hands, if you're going to wear gloves, if you're not going to wear gloves, um, so keep that in mind. The next step is I've, I've got them pretty much the way that I want them. I've got the handle about the size I want. The next step is simply to just go back and untie this knot, and then gather the remaining six. Uh, tail pieces and combine them uh, so you have three groups of two uh, and then just continue to braid. Just to make it easy um, I've just chosen to bring one uh, one of the, the, the same pieces <laughs> for lack of a better word into the center and then just leave two on the side and then just braid. Just braid like you're like you braided the rest of it. I don't tie a knot up here. Um, I just continue braiding on. You can also make them much uh, narrower and with a much smaller loop if you want to uh, attach them to uh, like cabinet doors or refrigerator doors or if you just have a tiny tiny dog and if that's the case you might want one that's longer so that you don't have to bend over um, but keep the, the width and the knot smaller for their smaller mouths. Then I just trim up the ends. Um, sometimes I'll use a pair of pliers to pull each one of these pieces only because my hands are not very strong. And the overall length, you know, including the handle is what, about 15 inches or so. This is a 15 inch ruler. Um, I like that length for playing outdoors. Um, the loops, in my opinion, are not a great idea if you've got two dogs playing with this toy because uh, someone's going to get their jaw stuck in it. So it's really a human uh, one dog toy in my opinion. Uh, it's a big knot. They love it. The other uh, thing that I've done is made them much, much, much smaller and much thinner for use like on um, cabinets and things like that to teach dogs how to pull them open. So this, you know, this one is you know, much much smaller. It'll fit through through the, the handles, um, which makes it fun for Lexi. Hey, Lexi, come. Lexi, here. You're on, girl. Tug, sweetheart. Oh, I know. Such a big dog. Yes. Oh, I did there. Uh-oh. I did there, puppy. There's a doggy biscuit in there. 
So you can't leave the tuggies on the handle all the time. 